family of man who was in Tuskegee syphilis experiments say they will take COVID-19 vaccine. Ashanna Robinson, December 19, 2020. And so there has been a lot of talk about this vaccine and the credibility, you know, if it's safe. And, you know, there's been a history of distrust in the Black community in terms of medicine. And so the relatives of one of the men who were in the Tuskegee syphilis study say that they will take the COVID-19 vaccine as soon as they can get it. Hey, think about it. I had a video where the rich, famous, and wealthy are trying to get bumped up on the list and they're offering as much as maybe even more than $25,000 just to move up faster to get access to get this medication. So during the study, which researchers from the public health Service and Tuskegee Health Institute ran from 1932 to 1972. Hundreds of black men who were told that they would receive treatment for syphilis were instead left deliberately untreated and kept in the dark when penicillin became available as a remedy for the disease. So the infamous experiment has frequently and arguably erroneously been referenced by Black people this year, arguing against taking recently developed COVID vaccines. So Lily Tyson Head and Carmen Head Thornton, the daughter and granddaughter of one of the men who was involved in the experiment say it shouldn't be used as a reason to forego protection against coronavirus. So the men in the study didn't get a vaccine. That's the difference between what happened in Tuskegee experiment and what's going on now. So you are comparing men not getting a vaccine to a vaccine that is available. So think about it, rich and wealthy, famous people are trying to pay money to get it. They're trying to get bumped up on the list to get it. So Head said in an interview with Zora magazine this week, how can you compare not having something to the opportunity to have something? So Head's father, Freddie Lee Tyson, found out decades after participating in a study that researchers had deliberately kept him from being treated. So he added, or Head added, rather, that she would take the COVID vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine, without hesitation as soon as it became available to her. So reports in ABC News. So Thornton, meanwhile, pointed out that many of the misconceptions people have about what actually happened in the study originally in Tuskegee, like the claim that participants were injected with syphilis by the government or people by the Black community having a degree of suspicion in the health system, that isn't wholly un unjustified. So history has not been kind to African Americans Thornton said. So it has not been kind, and because of mis, uh, or mis, uh, misperceptions that are connected to what happened in the study, I think it helps to grow um, mistrust, and that's one of the things that we are dealing with. And so the two women helped launch the Voices for Our Father's Legacy Foundation in 2014 in part to promote and advocate for more ethical treatment amid worsening disparities in America's health care. Though people continue to argue over whether or not that they will take COVID-19 vaccines that have recently become available, the first doses of those developed Pfizer are fit so is the F. Pfizer, actually, and Moderna only began going out to the frontline workers and members of government in the U.S. this week. And rich people are trying to pay money to get it, or to be moved up to have access, first, first access. So officials have said that it likely won't be until spring of 2021 at the earliest that members of the general population are able to have access to this vaccine. <clears throat> so 
That's the difference between this historical study with Tuskegee, syphilis experiment, and now. So there's still debate around this, but when you look at the people who are trying to, like here in California, there are wealthy people. Cedar Sinai had, uh, I'll say anonymously, a wealthy person um, want to give charitable donations in the amount of 25000 so that they can have faster access to the vaccine. So that should tell you something right there. So having said that, I'm going to let this video go. This is where we're at, and thank you.